Welcome guys to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, kindly do so and remember to click the notification button to get more amazing content. And with that, let's go straight to the video. A lot of new features were announced by Apple for the new iPhone 13 lineup this week including a better battery life, an A15 Bionic processor that is faster, smaller display notches, higher refresh rate ProMotion display and better cameras. However, if you take a step back and have a look at the previous year's iPhone model, you'll start to notice the products look awfully similar. They both spot a similar design and feel and Apple were smart not to directly compare the A15 and A14 Bionic chips of the two models. Comparison is drawn only to the competition. They have the same lightning port at the bottom rather than a USB-C giving it a very familiar look. This has driven much of tech Twitter to refer to the new iPhone 13 model as iPhone 12S, referring to it as a mere update. Apple has seemed to have abandoned the S suffix product release since 2018. Each year a new model gets a new number regardless of whether it features major overhauls in its components or minor updates like the iPhone 13. The reality is that smartphone tech is moving at breakneck speeds and even a minor upgrade could represent a lot more feature capabilities. The smartphone market is very different now than it was before, given even mid-range models have the capabilities to do tasks most people need in a phone. Every year, performance upgrades and camera improvements are marketed but all these do not represent life-changing features and consumers are starting to take notice. This is evident as reported by CNBC that as of 2019, US consumers waited an average two years before going for a smartphone upgrade. In the UK the figure goes to 28 months. These figures according to reports are continuing to rise yet. Apple has not given up the idea of selling you a new smartphone every year, hence, Apple is even more focused in convincing its customers to upgrade by branding. Each year's iPhone as a brand new model as opposed to a modest upgrade of the previous year's smartphone. Arguably, this year's iPhone could easily been called the iPhone 12S. Thank you once again for watching the video. I hope it was informative. Kindly like, subscribe, and click the notification button.